Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round. Sing it, Maddie. Bus go round and round, all through the town. Yeah. Teachers play a critical role in building upon children's experiences in the classroom through language and interactions. The purpose of this video, Language for Learning, is to show teachers using skilled techniques for communication. These techniques include positive language, expansion, questioning, and redirection. Teachers use them to foster critical thinking and problem-solving skills, promote learning as they extend children's knowledge, and help children develop social skills. In the video, you will see interactions in diverse childcare settings and how teachers modify their interactions to meet the developmental needs of their specific age group. Infants and toddlers are learning language as well as developing an understanding of the world around them. The examples you are about to see illustrate how teachers use simple but specific words to introduce and reinforce basic concepts by talking about displayed materials, describing familiar objects and actions, and by asking questions to encourage language. Concept Development Using Descriptive Language Mommy and Daddy, and Caitlin. Mommy and Daddy. Where's the heart? Julia. Where's the heart at? Do you know? Look. See the rainbow of colors? And look, Luca. Is that a grandma? Is that a grandma? Yeah. And there's Luca. And there's Ian. And there's a grandma. Yeah, you say grandma. You see Luca's toy. Do you want a toy too? You gotta let it go. Okay, Caitlin has a blue circle. You wanna put it in? Good job. Can Julia put her blue circle in? Let's try. Okay, star, shape. Star. Good job. Good job. You see that bear? He can sit up just like you. And there's a baby, and another baby, and another baby. Are you giving the baby to the bear? The bear says, thank you. Here we go. How about a black and white zebra? He has red hair. <gasps> Look at his sun, the sky. The sky is so blue today. Mm? The wind feels so good. Mm. ¿Dónde están las vacas? I can't. I can't. Ponlas así. Así. I don't think it, I think we have to find cinco. There we go. See? Cinco. Cinco. Try that one. El perro dice, woof. ¿Dónde está el perro? Ahí está el perro. Omnibus. En el, el omnibus va en el agua. It's cool. It's equal on store. Describing events and actions. Look, you can roll after the car. Mm. You gonna go backwards? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Mmm. Rub hands. Did you get the front? We need some more soap. Get the back. Alright, we're making bubbles. Rinse your hands. Paper towel, please. Thank you. Wipe off Toya's dirty hands? Yeah. Where's your clean diaper? Ooh, ready? One foot? Where's the second foot? There it is. Put it in there. Boop. Thank you. Social and emotional development. Infants and toddlers are just beginning to learn about how they can interact with others and safely explore their environment. This is an opportunity for teachers to positively guide children during play and routines. 
These examples show how caregivers respond to children's attempts to communicate, model conversation, facilitate positive play between children, and teach expectations for safe behavior. By asking questions, then pausing, and allowing children time to respond verbally or non-verbally, teachers can model pleasant conversation. Quickly responding to crying or other attempts to communicate helps children understand how to better express their needs and wishes. Teachers can also acknowledge positive interactions as children play well together. Responding to communication attempts. I, I think that sounds like a good castle. Jewelry, butterfly, strings. How about you, Gabby? Are you hungry? Come on. Oh, here she comes. Are you ready for your bottle? Huh? And there's purple, red, and blue blocks. No, would you rather do this sitting up? Would that feel better? Here, come here. Look. And you can see the doggy. Look. <gasps> What's that? Is that a doggy? Yeah. Book. Yeah. See the book? Hi, Claire. You liking the stories? Say, I'm here. I'm here. So, what do we got, Gabby? Oh. Hi, Peter. And he says, whoop, whoop, whoop. Look at what does a doggy say? Hi. The doggy says hi. Hmm. Doggy says woof woof. The doggy says woof woof. Can we build? Dada. Duck, yeah. Quack quack. Dada. Quack quack. Positive language for guidance. Let's see, let's see. Hey Luca. Let's find a toy for our friend Ian. Mm -hmm. You want this one? <gasps> hey, thank you. Here, look. Look, I gave you this. <gasps> look, look, Luca. It's fine. Let's find Ian one, okay, that he, that he can hold. Want to hold it? There you go. Hold it. Here. Look, Luca. Uh huh. Nope, Noah's trying to get her a book. Noah, I'm going to give you a different book. You can have this book. You want to give him a hug? Gentle. Sweet. All oh, group hugs. So sweet. So sweet girls, huh? They are. You see her? Tyler's nose. You see Tyler's nose? Where's Brianna's nose? Where's Brianna's nose? There's Brianna's nose. Smart. Yeah. Nadia. Um, Luca, feet on the floor. Feet on the floor. Mm -hmm. Let's put your sleeves. There you go. Come play with blocks. Can you come put some blocks in the bag? Can you put those blocks back in the box? When children challenge limits, it may be tempting for infant and toddler teachers to tell children no or stop. Certainly when children are engaging in dangerous behavior, this language may be needed. But by saying feet on the floor rather than no or we don't climb on the shelf, Carolina helps the child understand the expectation that his feet stay safely on the ground. Over time, these positive statements guide children's behavior as they grow and learn, helping maintain a supportive classroom. Using language during daily activities. Opportunities to talk about concepts and social interactions occur frequently throughout the day during play activities and routine care. Skilled teachers take advantage of these times to use guided language. 
During the routine, there is much to learn. We're still going to eat our snack. Do you want me to sit next to you? I can sit next to you. Miss April can sit next to Caitlin. I can sit next to Caitlin. It's all right. Do you want some of your milk? No? You want Pop-Tart? It's okay. Miss April's here with you. Caitlin, can I bring my chair over here and help Natalie now? These are my two girls that need help with their cups. Good morning, Miss Tiffany. Good morning. How are y'all doing? We're good. You? Here, Caitlin, you can do Say thank you. You're going to pick up your Pop-Tart and put it in your mouth? Mmm. More what? You want your milk? No? You have Pop-Tart on your plate. I can't give you more. Oh, you have Pop-Tart on your plate to eat. Can you put a piece in your mouth? You still have Pop-Tart on your plate. Can you drink some milk? Do you need me to slide it closer? It's all right. Miss Ann's going to help us. Did you have an uh-oh? Are you looking at the uh-oh? It's all right. We make accidents. Caitlin, you have to sit down if you're chewing. Sit down. Chew up that bite, and then if you're all done, you can help Miss Ann. Can you drink a little bit more milk? You're not thirsty? Are you all done? Thank you. Drink one more swallow of milk so you won't be a thirsty girl. Good job. Charlie's at Grandma's house today. Say, I had a Grandma day. Say thank you, Miss Ann. Just say thank you. I'm just going to smile at her. Did you eat a big breakfast with Mommy this morning? Your milk? You all done now, Caitlin? Good job. We had a yummy snack this morning, didn't we? Go put your bib in the basket. Go put your bib in the basket, Caitlin. Okay, we'll do yours, I promise. We have to wait for Caitlin. All right, let's come wash your hands, Caitlin. Come help Miss Ann wash your hands. During the routine, there is much to learn. April notices that a child is upset, so she sits beside the toddler to calm her. When another child needs help, April lets her know she is moving to another location. April meets the child's initial need for comfort while later fostering independence. At the same time, April describes her actions and the actions of children, as well as labels objects like Pop-Tart and Cup. The infants and toddlers have been taught simple signs like more and all done, to help communicate their needs. Notice that guidance occurs as April remains positive when explaining that one child needs to stay seated while chewing and acknowledges that everyone has accidents sometimes. Even though the children are just becoming verbal, April models pleasant conversation with them about their families and other children in the group. The setting for snack is calm and relaxed and the conversation adds to the positive, enjoyable social experience. Infants and toddlers benefit from a language-rich environment which identifies the common objects, actions, and feelings they experience. By using positive and descriptive language during day-to-day -day routines and playtimes, caregivers enrich children's experiences by helping expand their vocabulary and facilitating positive choices with peers and materials. These types of interactions contribute to a quality learning environment by enhancing children's social, emotional, and cognitive development.